Hey everyone, it's John, and in today's video, I'll be talking about RSM 230, which is Introduction to the Financial Markets. So this is my fifth video in the Rosman Commerce mini-series, and I'll be doing a course review for this course, RSM 230. And my professor for the class was David Goldrick. I must admit, it was one of the best professors and one of the best classes I had in my first year. I learned a lot, and the best thing about it is that a lot of the information that's taught in this class is applicable to the real world. It helped me when it comes to investing, it helped me when it comes to understanding the economy, and it has so many benefits that, you know, I left the class feeling really fulfilled. So definitely recommend it, and you learn a lot in RSM 230. In regards to the course material for RSM 230, it covers anything you can think of when it comes to finance, whether it's financial securities, bonds, stocks, variable floating rate bonds. Uh, on top of that, there's a lot of calculations and equations you need to know you know, to calculate present value, cash flows. And then on top of that, there's portfolios and risk, options, so derivatives, um, investment funds, and banking and market efficiency concepts. So it really encompasses a lot of different finance related material and it's very useful to get a better grasp of the financial markets especially if you want to become an investor. In terms of class size we were around 200 students in a single lecture hall so it was very big although something that I really do admire in Professor Goldrick was that he's very easy to talk to. He would have office hours where he would one-on-one -on -one answer our questions as well as through Quirkus where we could ask you know questions and he would answer them very quickly so it was very easy to stay in contact with the professor. Like RSM 219, RSM 230 doesn't need a specific you know minimum grade for you to make it second year of Rossman Commerce however you obviously have to pass the course which means getting above a 50 percent. So if you look at the grading scheme for RSM 230 you will see that the syllabus quiz I mean it's a free mark it's one percent that the professor gives at the very start but then all of the other assignments, they tend to be paired in groups of two. You can see the individual essay, there are two of them, then there are two group projects and two homeworks. And those are worth a lot combined, around 30% of the final mark. But on top of that, there's the midterm as well as the final exam, and that's where you know a big chunk of the final grade comes from, because the final exam itself is worth 40% of your final mark. To do the homework assignments as well as you know access the textbook, Professor Goldrick uses the platform McGraw Hill Connect. If you look at the website, you can see that there are many different practice problems that are divided into the chapters in the textbook, as well as the two main online homeworks that are worth 5% each of your final mark. I would say the thing that I liked the most, having taken RSM 230, was one of the written assignments where we had to comment on an article that our professor wrote for the Globe and Mail just a few days earlier. So it really gives us insight into what's happening in the stock market, especially because the professor you know, is keeping up with the news and has so many interesting stories to tell in class. Another reason why I loved RSM 230 was that we could bring a cheat sheet to our midterm and final exam. And so for me personally, that turned out to be very useful because I didn't have to memorize pretty much anything going into the exam or the midterm. All I had to do was make sure I understood what was going on, how to apply the different principles into different applications that teacher put on the exam and so by not needing to memorize and just having a logical understanding of the course really makes it easier to understand the general concepts and apply them to pretty much anything you can think of in real life. My biggest study tip for RSM 230 is to do as many practice exams as you possibly can. So Professor Goldrick usually gives past papers so do them make sure you fully understand how they work and they are very useful because the type of questions is very similar to the one that shows up in the test. And because you don't need to memorize, practice problems are the best way to go because you all you have to do is apply your knowledge to the specific examples. Another great resource is the different tutorial sessions that happen with the TAs where they explain the different concepts that were taught in class and they even do review sessions for the term tests. So I definitely recommend going to those to make sure you have you know, a good understanding of what's going to show up in the exam. So that's all I have to say for RSM 230, which is financial markets. I really enjoyed the course. I'm sure you will too. The prof is amazing, so I highly recommend it. If you have any questions, please let me know. As always, if you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.